Enjoy base camp outings with the Alpine Heavy Duty Cylinder Stove from Camp Chef. Manufactured with heavy duty steel construction, this stove is built to last. Adjustable legs help with setup on uneven ground. Comes standard with just over 10 feet of chimney, which includes a damper with a pre-drilled hole. Also included is a wire spark arrester for safety and security. A hinge door with a built-in door damper. Two multi-purpose shelf drying racks. The flat top surface provides a great area to cook on or warm a pot of water. The Camp Chef Alpine Heavy Duty Cylinder Stove has an optional water tank accessory that can be mounted on either side. Each component is designed to fit inside the stove, making it easy to transport and convenient to store. This is the stove itself. It's small, it's compact, and it's got these small folding arms at the top, which are great for a number of things, carrying the stove when it's hot and you're packing up from a camping trip the next morning, or even that evening if you need to. But also, once it's down and the stove is going, you can fold these out, you can put pots, pans, uh, cups, anything like that. And actually these do stay cool. Once the stove is really hot here, these stay cool. So if you need a hot drink or something cooling down, you can put those on the side here. The other thing you can do is hang utensils from them, uh, cooking irons, tongs, knives, forks, things like that. And also what I've used them for is wet clothing. So socks, gloves, any kind of clothing that is damp and you need drying out, you can just hang them on the sides here and the stove itself should dry them out over time. It's a small stove, it's compact and it weighs 9.4 kilos or 9,400 grams. It has really good welding points up at the top here by the folding arms and also down underneath by the legs. Stove height is 20 centimeters, the length is 39 centimeters, and the width is 22 centimeters. The height of the legs are 10 centimeters, but they can be upgraded to 30 centimeter leg extensions. This version has the G-Stove heat view door, which means you've got this glass section here where you can see into the stove and obviously get that nice ambient light reflecting back from the fire. At the front, you have these split rings. They're on a spring as well, so they're spring loaded. You can, when you push this in, you're then able to rotate really easily. This is the front valve, which allows you to control the airflow coming into the front of the stove. When I light the stove to begin with, I tend to have this completely open. And then once you've got a good burn going in there or you're cooking, slow cooking something, or you're putting it out for the night, you can push this in and start to dampen it down a bit. The door itself works in a similar way. You push the split ring in, you can lift the, the uh, latch there and the door then opens to the stove. Again, you can see the reinforced welding all around here. The great thing about G-stoves is that they come with a number of different accessories. For example, the door here, this is the heat view version where you can see in through the glass. If you open the latch, you can lift it off and you can get the standard version to suit your preference. The glass itself is also removable if you need to clean it. There is a small bolt here, which you can undo and loosen. As you loosen that, you'll see just here, you're then able to slide the glass up like so. And should you need to clean it, you can then clean the glass. This is the ash scraper. It's small enough to fit inside one of the stove pipes, which then stores inside the stove itself. You would use this once you've burned through the stove a couple of times and you had a couple of burns, there's gonna be a buildup of ash inside. You're gonna to want to scrape that ash out so that you get better airflow for the next time you light the stove. All you do is you'd put this in the back of the stove, grab that ash, scrape it forward and just scrape it all out. That leaves a cleaner stove ready for your next burn. Another accessory that comes with the stove 
is the grate. Comes in two pieces. Inside the stove are small shelves. This grate will rest on top of the shelves. What you do is you put it in diagonally, put the back one on first, make sure it's level and resting on the shelves. Put the second one in, make sure it's all resting on the shelves. What this does is help to raise your wood off of the stove, the bottom of the stove, so that when you shut the door and you open the vent, it allows all that airflow to get in underneath the wood and create a much better draw and a much better burn for your fire.